today on my show of what I'm going to talk about on my show today is I'm going to do a movie review of a Disney film, what I just watched today. It is, I'm going to do a Disney review of Disney's an extremely goofy movie. So the movie came out back in the year 2000. It was never released at the theaters. It was also released as a direct to Disney DVD sequel. And I have seen the movie before. And if some people seen the movie before, that's awesome. Or if anyone has not ever seen it or or really don't remember that movie really well, then I would easily highly recommend it is you need to like rewatch a goofy movie before you watch the sequel of an extremely goofy movie. So I'll tell you what the background is about. So the movie is about um, Goofy son, Max. So Max and his two friends, Bobby and Pete Jr. So both of them, so the three of them like goes off to college. So after they go off to college, um, Max's dad, Goofy, so he works at this toy factory. So, like, after Goofy lost his job at the toy factory because he was daydreaming and thinking about his son better than focusing. So after he was fired, then Goofy tried to look for, like, employment. So he can't really find much jobs because he never finished like college. So Goofy, only way he would get, get like a good job, so he would go back to college. So he goes to the same college where his son like Max goes to. Yeah. So like so there's his dad and his son, both of them are like in school together. So, and then like how they're trying to like focus. So like Goofy would do really well. Well, the first time he did not like focus. Then the second time, like when he met a girl, a librarian named Sylvia, so both of them have something in common that they both enjoy like 70s memorabilia. Then so Sylvia like helps like tutor Goofy do really well in school. And then like later at the end of the Disney film, like Goofy finally got his like college diploma. Yeah, so that's why I remember like what the plot's about. Yeah, and my opinion, like review of what I thought about this Disney film of an extremely goofy movie. That I think the animation looks great. Um, it's not a bad direct to Disney sequel at all, and I think it's a best Disney direct to 
I think it's a best Disney direct to DVD sequel. Because, like, if you were trying to play it in a theater back then, it depends on how well, like, it would have done at the box office. But I think Disney back then decided, what if we release it to DVD? So, yeah, back then, like, Disney used to, like, release direct to movies, like, at home, like, on VHS, but... Now they don't really do that anymore. And I think in the movie, I think Bill Farmer, I think he did an amazing job doing the voice of Goofy. And I think Goofy is like really funny and clumsy. And I just want to make an important message for Bill Farmer that if you're watching this episode, um, I think, again, I think he did an awesome job playing Goofy in a Goofy movie and in the sequel of an extremely Goofy movie. And also Polly Shore is in the movie too. Like, even though I think Polly Shore is like a worse actor, but I think Polly Shore, like, again, I think he did an amazing job playing as Bobby in a goofy movie one and also in Disney's An Extremely Goofy movie. Yeah. And I think my other guess that, so since the movie came out back in the year 2000, I think it's about like 19 years old today. And wow, that's crazy. And I was only like six years old back then. And before I go, I also want to make this like episode for people who remembers watching the Disney film, a goofy movie, or an extremely goofy movie. And that's all for my show today. Make sure to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And click like on the bottom below if anyone enjoyed my episode today. And that's all for my show today, and see you next time.